Welcome to the Weekly Interceptor's Explain Playlist, where I explain prominent weapon systems and concepts about air and missile defense. Missile defense systems rely on the ability to detect and track a ballistic missile throughout all or a portion of its flight path. The United States does this by overlapping sensor coverage to provide a near holistic search and track capability to aid ballistic missile engagements. To provide this holistic coverage, the United States uses joint force interoperability, full use of elevated sensors in space and near space, and an integrated layer defense of satellite sensors and ground or sea-based radars to provide coverage. Together, space-based satellites and ground or sea-based radars create a monitoring system that contribute to offensive missile detection, detecting a missile after it's been launched, discrimination, which determines what a threat is versus a decoy, other countermeasures or debris, and tracking, meaning keeping the missile in sight so the interceptor can find the missile and eliminate the threat. As mentioned, there are several systems that contribute to ballistic missile defense surveillance. These systems can be defined into two categories, which are passive defense BMD sensors and active defense BMD sensors, or overhead persistent infrared systems and terrestrial based sensors. The most prominent overhead persistent IR system is the Defense Support Program, or DSP. The DSP is a geosynchronous satellite constellation providing IR detection of ballistic missile launches. It detects and reports missile and space launches along with other events in near real time. DSP is normally the first system to detect a launch. It provides boost phase reports, missile typing data, state vector, covariance data, and predicted impact location. DSP is currently being replaced by space-based infrared systems, or SIVRs, which currently provides the same functions in geo and heo orbits. There are several U.S. terrestrial-based surveillance systems that provide coverage at different electromagnetic spectrums and ballistic missile phases of flight. The Patriot Radar is a C-band transportable theater, air, and missile defense system that provides surveillance, tracking, classification, discrimination, identification, and electronic counter-counter measures that is effective against a variety of threats. The THAAD AN Tippy Y2 is a transportable X-band radar providing the same functions as the Patriot Radar to provide Indo and exoatmospheric surveillance. The system can operate as a forward base mode or as part of the THAAD Missile Defense Firing Unit. The Aegis SPY-1 radar is a solid-state multifunctional S-band phased array radar on board the Aegis cruisers and destroyers. The radar supports BMD detection and provides engagement data to the vessels. The C-band X-band radar is a phased array X-band 360 radar that can detect objects up to 4,800 kilometers. Collateral sensor sites include parks, Antigua, Ascension, and radars, which comprise the upgrade early warning radar system, consisting of PAVEPAWS and former BMEWS radars. A collateral sensor is a U.S. SpaceCom operationally controlled sensor with a primary mission other than space surveillance, such as missile warning. These radars are non-transportable and strategically placed throughout the U.S. and its territories to provide early missile defense warning against ICBMs. To learn about engagement of ballistic missiles, stay tuned for next week's video. Thank you for watching the Weekly Interceptor on YouTube. Join us next week for more missile defense news.